that's done it. We'll probably might have to mend you someday, but we can't get you up with something. We'll probably wait to another engine. I'll cell phone another engine to come. Thank you. They waited at the cell phone tower and talked to the man. Hello? Hello, General? Actually, um, we need to obviously have another train come in here and push us along. Thank you. Goodbye. Well, there's no breakdown. Well, we need to be at the breakdown crane, but it looks like Thomas is going to save you. Oh, good. Thomas is my friend, and he would never, ever let me go down like here. Tom, Tom, Thomas has been called by the station manager, and he puffed away. And pretty suddenly, he traveled along um, his branch line and saw the crash. Oh, no. What happened? Well, I had a little accident, Thomas. I just saw it. Well, don't worry. I'll go get the breakdown train right away, and so you can be fixed. Thank you. There was no breakdown crane. He got the breakdown crane and was able to lift um him and and himself back onto the rails and back onto the track. They had to couple the track upwards in order to see if it will fall off. So, this might take a while. Then, then there. Then the rest of the engine was complete. Then Duff went the buffer behind, buffer behind him. Okay, come on. Let's go. We can do it. We can do it. He pushed the passenger. He pushed the passengers up and down the hill, and then they arrived home. They arrived home. The people, the people in the passengers cheered on as they went as in Genesis's railway package. <laughs> Pretty soon, Sir Top. I had to speak to him. Thank you. And thank you. You are the most pride engine on the line. And you are the best engine. We will surely have you for this line. Thank you, sir. And thank you, Thomas. If it wasn't for your help, I would have never have been able to get past here. And everybody agreed to that.